Hello guys, good morning and uh, welcome and welcome to Bin's vlog and uh, how are you today? I hope everything will fine. Will everything is fine and uh, bless you all. And today I have some thing to share to you and uh, this is I think uh, which is uh, helpful to you also. So for now we have some troubleshooting again as usual <laughs> because I'm sharing to you all uh, the troubleshooting that I have so I can share to you also how we are going to fix it and how we are going to uh, do the troubleshooting okay for now we have an uh, 1106 uh, engine this is uh, like 150 or 135 kb um, let's go there and uh, help me to troubleshoot that one because it's having some little problem so I just want to show you uh, maybe it will uh, get some informations uh, good informations with you that may can help the troubleshoot also if you encounter this problem so let's go there and uh, let's start our uh, troubleshooting okay So by the way guys, this generator is having troubles with the engines, the, the, there is uh, what we call uh, the engine hunting and uh, we're now we're going to solve it, that one, how we're going to solve it and uh, I'm here in this generator by the way and uh, I will show you uh, this uh, generator and this engine, this is the uh, 1106, uh, this is 7 uh, TA uh, engine uh, this is uh, installed or coupled uh, uh, alternator this is 135 alternator and now this is here the panel so I'm just put some power up so we can start so okay guys we are going to start this generator so I will show you also uh, how we're going to start this one and you focus the situation so this module what is the problem so it's having a little problem like 
a little hot thing with the engine so I will also put the load so you can see what is exactly going on for this uh, generator so now come here and uh, let's uh, start this generator um, and you focus what is uh, the problem here and also the engine if there is some movement so you can see that uh, there is some hunting for this uh, generator so now we're going to fix that one and where we're going to uh, adjust the stability of this engine so at that point I will show you where it is so let's start I will check this. Okay. Now I'm going to start. Now as you can see there is having a lot of fluctuations and also it's having the engine uh, hunting so you can see the engine is like uh, bumping each you can see the movement of the engine that there is a uh, hunting for that one so where we can fix it that one and uh, once I put the load you can see also the movement of the engine which is that is good for your uh, uh, generator as well because it will affect your voltage and it will affect your frequency so we need to fix the rpm for that and we're going to the other side in order to adjust this uh, stability okay so at this point i will going to close first and i will start and and i will go there so we can uh, start fixing this problem okay so guys after uh, i will start this uh, I mean before I start the generator make sure if you are adjusting the stability of the injection pump or in this engine so make sure that you have to adjust slowly clockwise or anti-clockwise for your adjustment just make it slow in order to uh, refine the situations where it is uh, the settings could be uh, in the exact set points so if you hear and if you observe that the, the engine is uh, already unstable so at that point you are going to start uh, put the load in order to see if it is in the correct uh, performance so I will going to start and let's adjust the uh, stability okay
Okay guys, as you can see where we adjust this uh, stability of the engine. So this is the injection pump. So in this point, here is your uh, adjustment. So here you need only the 13 spanner and the uh, Allen key for your adjustment. So as I shown to you, the, the adjustment is clockwise, which is I rotate it slowly until the engine is become stable. So at this point, I will going to start again and I will show you if the engine is totally stable and we will put the load at 100%. So you can see that we fixed already the problem and I think so and I hope that it is already uh, okay once we put the load and uh, there is no issue at all. So since I have already adjusted this voltage and I will show you also if the voltage and the frequency there is stable because this get there so let's go there the other side so we can start and put the load so now guys I will start and uh, just focus in this area so how it will stable and during our load testing also so I'll start see how stable our engine is and even if we put the 100% load it's still in a good condition so by the way guys if you have some comment and if you have some questions just comment down below and please subscribe also before so I can give you more ideas and give you more videos for you so we can learn a lot from this so thank you for watching and Beans blog is here and see you again in my next blog thank you again Thank you.